what was your like your hopes for you know what this book would do to to really help schools you know in a time where you know there's there's obviously some negative uh conversations about schools from the outside well so many people george get thrown into school communication without any communication background. Um, right. I'm one of them. Like I was a chemistry business major back in uh, college oh. and got my MBA and now I run a social media company, but we've all, um, especially us, I'm, I'm now 45. I didn't grow up with social media, right. so I had to learn it and schools really inviting and, and using this as a tool, it's been something that you've kind of had to try by trial and error. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we know good things are happening, but how do we get the stories? How do we monitor the comments? And how do we handle all of this? Um, so I really wanted to put together a thorough guide. I do a lot of webinars. Okay. I have a podcast of my own. Like I've got um, uh, hundreds of blogs out there but I didn't have one resource to be able to say, hey, you know, person who just got right. handed the keys to Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, like here's some proper ways of how you should use it for a public school, private school, charter school. This is really meant for all K-12 schools. Um, but I think now in their hand, they've got a five section book that really breaks down you know, um, just some of the systems and the branding and the storytelling and and best practices and and professional development that they can use to to really engage their mm. community, engage right. parents, but also seventy percent of your community has nobody in school right now. And right. so can we amplify those stories? And and me as a parent of six kids who don't say, they don't tell me what's going on at school, George. And so because of social media, I can see what they're learning, yeah. what they're experiencing, and it can lead to some great engagement. Yeah, and and I think that was a, a big thing for me too. It wasn't just like because you you saw the you know kind of I know it's kind of weird to say old school, but people would have websites and it was just a one way communication tool. Right. And then they moved to social media and they they use it as a one way communication tool when it actually had the opportunity to have conversations and to kind of connect. And one of the things that I was really passionate about was not limiting it to a just like one person was in, in charge of the communication. And mm -hmm. e even in Navir's mindset, I shared this, that uh, a Twitter handle is about communication. A hashtag is about community. Mm 